Salesforce integration. Acumatica gives users the option to leverage our internal customer management module or integrate with an external system such as Salesforce. The integration utilizes a bi-directional sync for the objects you see listed here. Changes in Acumatica are communicated to Salesforce using web-based APIs. When changes are made in Salesforce, a data stream notification triggers an Acumatica import scenario which processes the data. Acumatica passes real-time data to Salesforce using custom objects using OData. This allows customers to see Acumatica data without leaving Salesforce. To configure the integration inside Acumatica, I need to enable Salesforce integration and configure the Salesforce provider. Before I can configure my data provider, I need to create an app in Salesforce. I do this by going to Setup, opening the App Manager, and creating a new connected app. Detailed instructions for doing this are located in the Acumatica Online Help. When complete, I can retrieve the consumer key and the consumer secret needed to configure my Acumatica data provider. In addition to creating an app, I need to connect Salesforce to a specific user. To get the security token for my user, I go to User Settings and click Reset My Security Token. I'm not going to do that in this video since I already have the system configured and working. With the Salesforce app and user token, I can configure the Salesforce data provider in Acumatica. After configuring my data provider, I can fill and activate objects that are available throughout the Salesforce API. There are many objects, but I can filter them and see the ones that are configured for the Salesforce integration. Data is moved in and out of Acumatica using pre-configured import and export scenarios. These mappings are included with Acumatica, but you can modify them depending on your specific needs. You can set up formulas and substitution lists to match Salesforce field values with the corresponding values in Acumatica. To begin syncing, I navigate to the Salesforce sync screen and start my processes. If you want Acumatica data to appear in Salesforce, you need to install a customization project from GitHub. The customization project includes generic inquiries with OData enabled, as well as custom fields required to link field data to objects in Salesforce. In this video, I demonstrate a contact to cash scenario and show how marketing, sales, operations, shipping, and accounting can all work together seamlessly in two separate systems. With my setup complete, I can begin using my integrated systems. To begin, I take the role of marketing and create a lead in Salesforce. I'll fast forward to reduce the video runtime. With my lead complete, inside Acumatica, I can navigate to the Salesforce sync state screen to see if the object was created in Acumatica. I can also do a search inside Acumatica to find my newly created object. In the sync status tab, there is an external reference link that will open the lead in Salesforce with one click. Next, I take the role of a salesperson who will work the lead in Salesforce. Inside Salesforce, I can convert my lead. Using the pop-up dialog box, I create a contact, an account, and an opportunity. Then I go to the opportunity to continue working to complete the sale. When I return to Acumatica to verify that my objects have synced, I see that there was an issue. It appears that the objects were created in the incorrect order. Inside Acumatica, I cannot create a contact until my lead is converted. In order to fix the errors, I resync the objects manually. I navigate to my business account and can see that the opportunity has been created and assigned to my account. In this example, I created an opportunity in Acumatica the instant it was created in Salesforce. But I could have used source restrictions in my Acumatica import scenario so that the opportunity was not synced until it was either won or lost. Returning to Salesforce, I can modify my opportunity by changing fields, adding products, and eventually closing the opportunity. As I make each individual change, they are all communicated to Acumatica in real time.
sales operation is notified of the win via a dashboard, email, or mobile notification and begins the fulfillment process inside Acumatica. I can convert the business account to a customer. The customer account will include credit terms and payment information that was not entered into Salesforce. Next, I use the Actions menu to create a sales order. To shorten the video, I use the Quick Process option to create a shipment, confirm the shipment, prepare my invoice, and release the invoice. Back in Salesforce, I can navigate to my business account and see that I have a new sales order and an invoice that are linked to my account. Links to the Acumatica record are provided so users with appropriate permissions can get additional detail or modify the linked objects in Acumatica. This completes my contact to cash scenario. Acumatica's integration allows salespeople to stay in Salesforce and perform their work in a familiar environment operations, shipping, accounting, and product teams can perform all their work in Acumatica. Error reporting and reprocessing helps maintain consistency between the two systems. The real-time nature of the sync allows organizations to stay connected across organizational and physical boundaries. For more information about Acumatica, visit our website to read documentation and view other videos.